Stop winging it in your sales appointments. So many roofing salespeople think that they just are trying to connect one-on-one, -on -one, get people to like them. And you know, I don't want to follow a system or a process because that just comes across as being salesy. So I'm just going to connect with my homeowners, read their body language, and just talk my way through things because after all, it's worked before and it'll keep working again. Well, I have bad news for you because Kendi, who was number one at her company, she did that, by the way. She just, you know, tried to custom tailor things and drive with the customer and just in a short 30 days became dead last in the company. And it was all because of the mistake that I'm gonna highlight in this video. So pay very close attention and share this video in your group chat or with your team for the people who just jive with the customer, read their body language or talk their way through everything. Because I'm about to share a process that's gonna help you achieve a very high close rate and sustain that close rate. So before we get into it, welcome or welcome back. Adam Benzman here, and everything I do on my channel is designed to help you and your team smash your income goal and give every customer an amazing experience. So if you haven't done it, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss new uploads every single week. Follow along for new shorts. We got reels coming out on Instagram, TikTok, here on YouTube and Facebook, and I cannot wait to get into this video. And whoa, 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 if you haven't done it, jump into my free training center for even more binge-worthy training content, whether you're an owner, a manager, a rookie, or a seasoned veteran, there's a bunch waiting for you and there's no catch. Now, let's rock and roll into today's video. So Matt and I were talking over lunch about consistency. And who here has struggled with consistency in their sales career? Yes or no? Sure. Yes? Lots of hands. Okay. There's a little secret to consistency that's quite simple. See, as salespeople, we often measure our performance based on the previous performance. So here's what I mean. You run out, you run an appointment, and you're following the way you've been trained to a T, and you do it like this. And then the next appointment, you just measure on this one. So I'm going to change it. You're like, oh, I'll do it a little different. And you don't even aware, you're not even aware of it. And then you run the appointment, and it feels really good. And then the next appointment you run, and you measure it against this one. And then before you know it, you started here, but the way you're running it is here. And you wonder, you're like, man, my close rate's going down. Something's just not right, but I'm doing it the way I was taught to do it. And we're blind to the fact that we're so off course. And oftentimes it takes someone to have an outside perspective to come in and maybe shadow you on a sales appointment and be like, man, what are you doing? And you're like, well, I'm doing, all I did was make this one little adjustment. It's like, no, you didn't. You made one little adjustment 17 times. And I've even had this happen with folks on our team that I've sat down and I've been like, hey, things aren't the way that you were doing them. They're like, but it feels really good. It's like, but we need to go back. We need to go back to the basics. We need to go back to the process. And then when we did, the results exploded. So how do we adopt consistency? We have processes that we follow. And when the gentleman asked before about how long is, a, is the right time for an inspection, you hear what I say, you follow the checklist. When I'm up on the roof, first I'm on my ground level, I'm gonna do all my photos. You know, front of the house, left, rear, right. I get up on the roof, I grab my photos from the ladder, I've got my, my system in place. And we have a system to follow that creates consistency, and it becomes the anchor to fall back on. And without that consistency, we measure against the last performance. And the problem with roofing sales, and just sales in general, is that it's emotional. So we, we tie our outcomes to what we felt like caused the outcome. So we close the deal, we're like, it worked. And it's like, no, you close the deal because you got lucky. You close the deal because that homeowner already done research on your company. You close the deal because they already wanted to buy from you. You close the deal because you are the best price. It just, but what, you, what we anchor on is, oh, well, we said this one thing or it went this one way and that's what worked. And then we again use that as our new benchmark. So my best advice for everybody here is to have your own process. If you're using my system, the in-home process is the car park formula. And it allows us that place to come back to when we get lost or we feel like we were kicked off the horse. Does that make sense? All right, get back to the basics. And remember, if you find yourself measuring yourself against the last performance, Pump the brakes, go back to the basics, and measure off the process.